All right, so here we have the Robo C2. Uh, I've unpacked it from the box and taken off all the various clips for shipping to keep it stable. Um, this is the gantry clip you can see right here. Uh, this is the Z-axis clip that um, you see some threading. It was actually on there pretty good, so nice downward motion got rid of that. Just realize how dirty my fingernails are. Um, and then we have over here the USB that comes with it. Nice little laser edge USB. As far as the printer itself, we have magnetic build plates that comes off real nice and easy. You can see the build, the grip tape that comes with already on there. And then they have additional sheets. I think they have nine additional sheets um, with the printer. So pretty, uh, pretty generous. I typically am a build tag fan, but you know, I'll use this free grip tape as long as it lasts. And it's out of focus for some reason. Not sure what's going on there. Um, we also can see here on the extruder, we have a magnetic plate, or well, the magnets are here in this plate. Cover the extruder, nice little extruder. There we go. The rest of the printer, pretty standard. Um, we have a release button right here for the filament to get it out of the gears. Spool in the back, complete chaos because this tiny little spool and this larger holder is not working too well. Um, and then we have the AC lug right there, and there's manure source. Little buddy. Um, so let's get this thing going. This isn't. Turn this on in the back. And the last time I did this, it came up with some kind of weird uh, operating system code on the screen. We'll see what, if it goes straight into it this time. Alright, so every time I've turned it on, it's done something different in terms of the uh, boot up process. So I'm not sure what's going on there. Um, but while we're waiting for it to boot up, again, the uh, size of the printer is very compact. Kind of give you an idea of scale there. Uh, pretty compact printer. And the build, I believe, is 5 by 5 on the plate, but don't quote me on that. Maybe it might just be 5. Um, so yeah, there it's doing that little code thing again, which I have no idea what what is going on. I guess it's just the whatever the Raspberry Pi or Octoprint or boat, I, I'm not real sure what's going on. So I'm just going to let that do its thing. Hopefully it'll turn on here in a second. There it is. Okay, beautiful. So just going to go around here, files, just whatever you have on the computer, on the stick drive here. And you definitely have to put pressure on the screen, by the way. There we go. Um, so whatever's on the file here, and there's also two test prints on here. Printer, this will let you know the information, whatever's going on. Uh, utilities. I gotta really give it some oomph to get this thing going. Alright, there we go. Um, Robo controls. That's just basically if you want to do your set your temperature or mess around with the placement of the of the extruder head. Uh, wizards will take you through filament change, loading, and Z offset. You want to do your Z offset before you do anything. That's a very important step. Don't skip that. It'll save you a lot of heartache later on. Um, network, you just input you know, your wireless network. Updates, haven't gotten to work yet. It's basically just giving me an error. Options, it just says coming soon. So there's nothing going on there just yet. Um, as far as getting a print going, it's very simple. We just go to File. Uh, we did this in Cura, Robo version. And we just go down to, let's do the... Oh, let's go back. I want to do a way boot base. Let's go to um, Robo Keychain. That sounds fun. All right, Robo Keychain tells us how long it's going to be. Let's start. Okay, you got to really press this thing. All right, there we go. And that's about it. I mean, it's very straightforward. Um, it's completely independent of a computer. I haven't plugged into the computer yet. Uh, I've done everything by. Uh, you know, on the printer itself. So that's kind of new for me. I'm used to using this guy over here, the H479, uh, which is just having a bad day today. And, um, Affinia H479, sorry. And, uh, this thing's, you know, I did a test print earlier and it turned out pretty fantastic. Uh, very impressed with the quality right off the bat. I'll certainly mess with the settings just to kind of see what I can get this thing to do, um, especially go into a higher resolution. Um, but, you know, for just kind of plug and play, go, it's the first time I've ever used a printer uh, where I 
did not run into any issues in the whole entire process. So it's doing its auto calibration right now. And notice it's basically uh, already did the Z offset earlier. So when it starts going, it should be perfect. We'll give you a little bit of a tick there. So what I'm going to do is I'll probably set up a time lapse of this print. And that way you can kind of see what the finished product is. And um, I'll probably post it as a separate video because I'm doing everything from my phone. But I'll do some higher quality videos later on. I'm um, just kind of trying to give you guys a quick look at this because I know a lot of folks are eager to see this thing in action. I know I was, and I wasn't seeing anything, no videos, no um, real idea of what this thing can do. So it's going to take a bit for it to heat up. We're only at 112, 14. Yeah, it's just going pretty quick. Yeah, everything about this printer so far has been on, on, uh, on point. So we can get without the thing going out of focus. I know this isn't the most exciting video in the world, but hopefully those of you out there who have been waiting for this thing will find this to be uh, worthwhile. Just a slick looking printer though. Let's kind of go back here. Just a nice, simple, elegant, well, just, just a simple design that uh, you wouldn't mind having on your desktop and I'm debating if I'm going to take this to work or leave it here, but I think at least for now it's going to stay here so I can learn what this thing can do. Come on. You're getting there. You're getting there. And again, I will be posting uh, some time-lapse videos and some higher quality video um, of this printer in action. So if this video cuts out for some reason, you can look for the uh, continuation of videos on my channel. There we go. So I've got a little bit of filament stuck through the nozzle there. That should, should be an issue. You can see the adhesion there is pretty good. It might be a little. No, it's looking really good actually. And it's still stuck through the nozzle, but I haven't had any issues so far, so. It's gonna, <laughs> I guess, do this uh, auto leveling again, and then it should start printing. Sorry, this is turning into an eight-minute video. I just was trying to give you a quick shot, but um, there we go. So you can see the adhesion on this is pretty good. Um, Look at that. That's 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 some pretty adhesion there. So uh, yeah, I'm gonna not gonna make y'all watch this thing, but um, hopefully this gives you a good idea of what this thing can do. And uh, any questions or any uh, suggestions or anything like that, just let me know in the comments, and I'll try to make it happen. So uh, thanks for watching.